Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. So today is day 10 of classroom setup and I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it's the last one. So today it's Tuesday, I don't know the date, but I have a week from tomorrow that the kids come back, it's the first day. So I have lots to do, I got the plexiglass, said it right this time, uh, the new one. So that's going to go up. I'm going to get my door done. I'm going to get everything set up that I need to and get stuff out of my room. Um, also, I kind of feel like um, one of the Winifred sisters where on Hocus Pocus where it's like, I smell children. It's probably because I do because kids are in the building today. Middle school, high school registration and getting everything set up. So I'm going to go ahead and get inside. All right, so I have the new plexiglass in my door. And I lost an E. And it's probably because my air was off. So I didn't like cool the hallway. Um, so don't like surprises, but I walked in and I have this pile sitting in my room. So I'm going to try not to freak out about finding a home for it. But I am kind of freaking out because I have less than a week to have this ready and I have nowhere to put it. So, that's my life. Um, I was going to go ahead and show you what I have. I have all the names put out to go in there. I have my birthday stuff done. Um, and yeah, so let me show you really quick what that's gonna look like. Okay, so this is gonna be, they're kind of big. I'm not really sure, I'm not really sure if I like that or not. But um, these are the birthday months that are supposed to be for the birthday like display. And I'm not real sure. I may have to like cut them like that or something. So it doesn't take up too much space, but they're big. And then they come with, and this is from Ashley McKenzie. It's TPT sale time if you're watching this on uh, the uh, whatever day it is. Tuesday or wait it's Tuesday right and anywho this these are the lemons that come with them and so I'm just gonna laminate these and then put their birth their name and the day of their birthday in uh, a visa v pin that way I can just reuse them every year and then for my frames which are right there these are the binder covers that come in her packet and they ha she has four different kinds but I just picked um, these two because I thought they were good and so this one is like for the boys and so it just comes with the wreath I have their name their grade and the year and then the girls I gotta be careful so you can kind of see it um, this is the girl one so two of them come with the wreath and then one comes with like a tree with some lemons on them so anywho those are um, what I have so far. And then I made for my um, turn-in bins. So I got this from Dollar Tree. And I have a blue one that's sitting over there. And so one is going to be my turn-in bin. And these are just for the binders. So I'm just picking the largest one. I'm going to cut it out. And it's going to go on here. And then I also have, I have a return and then a turn-in. And then for my safe seat, um, last year we had a group come in, like high schoolers come in and do a presentation for the kids, um, like a rap thing, like they sang and there was music and lots of, just lots of fun. And so they, uh, their motto was be it MVP. So M stands for you mattered. V is your valued and P is you have a purpose. And so I'm just gonna cut these out um, and stick them on the side of my filing cabinet. That's over there. So, yep, busy day. I'm gonna try to get this up by three o'clock. It is 11.35 and so hopefully I can get it all done. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, so quickly I'm just gonna show you what I've put up so far. Um, so over here I put the two tubs so the turn-in tub is going to be the green um, 
and then the return is going to be the blue and then my um, folder stuffer is going to be the one in charge of making sure that there's any papers in here they go down through their cubbies um, and so that is what that looks like I don't think it looks too bad but I gotta get all the stickers off but it's been so hot that they're really hard so that may just be that first work day before open house and I do that and then walking over to the safe seat. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like. And if you guys know any good like um, calming station sensory things, let me know. I do have like the fidget pencils. I thought about putting one in the drawer. I thought about doing Velcro just like right like underneath here so they can feel it. Um, I was going to do like a countdown, like countdown from 10 and just put some stuff on the desk for them to do, not do, but like kind of see to kind of motivate them to get rolling again. And then I did put up my calendar stuff. Now I'm going to back up so you guys can kind of see it. It is off. I have the lunch menus up there. Um, they're kind of even, but these are way off and honestly, I've got way too much stuff to go back and refix it. So, but I will fix it. Um, next Monday when I come back, I'll just scoot everything over because I should have some time. Um, so next project is getting my names up on the um, picture frames. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, real quick. Um, so they're going to come get this stuff from my room. So I'm super duper excited about that. Um, I am keeping just the science books. I'm missing a couple like teacher's guides, but I don't need that. I'm just used to a book. So um, I'm gonna make have to tonight and maybe tomorrow go through and get at least the first unit done for both of those to get unplanned. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Um, I have to get the handles on my um, filing cabinet. So I can store the extra books and stuff so I can I don't have to put it on my shelf back there. So that'd be really, really helpful. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna get started on my door and then um, start moving some things out from my filing cabinet and getting that done. So I will see you in a little bit. Okay, so the first thing I wanna show you is I did get my names up on the board. I'm not gonna get too close because you can probably see them. Um, but this is just from the Ashley McKenzie. They were the book binder covers. And so I just turned the fonts over to make their picture frames. This is the science materials that were in some of the boxes that I will be using. And look guys, it's gone. I'm so happy. Okay. People probably think I'm crazy talking to myself, but it's not the first time. So the next thing I did was, these are from Ashley McKenzie, just they're like the, the binder spines. And so this will be the turn in bin. This will be the return. And I knocked out some stuff there that's gonna go home. I just have to find homes for that stuff. Um, this stuff is going home with me back here. I got my calendar birthdays up. And yes, they are crooked. And yes, I know. I'll get it fixed. I promise. It's probably driving some of y'all crazy. Trust me, it is me too. And then you may have noticed, holy cow, look at there. So this is my desk. Remember, I said that it's only going to be clean first day of school, <laughs> Christmas, and last day of school. So, it's not going to happen that way this year though. So, let me show you my door. So, on this side is what my door looks like. It's kind of, yeah, like you can kind of see I had to like, I have a deadbolt there and then just a little slider lock that I had to like cut out. So. That's that, and let me see if I can't get out into the hallway to show you the other. And this is what the outside of my door looks like. Oh, the bottom looks bad. But, it's just what I had to work with. I think it just, oh, 
looks so good and with the new glass it just looks even better so I'm excited so when you walk in my room there it is so I don't know I'm pretty excited door turned out real good um, I ran out of I was gonna put more water around on like this side but it ran out so I'm hoping maybe Dollar Tree has something all right guys so uh, if you have followed along with me so far thank you so much it means the world to me um, there are some few things left I still have to do so you may get like a day 11 you may get that along with an open house so I think that's what we're gonna do so um, the next video will be open house and day 10 I think I'm gonna have like a good chunk of time because um, open house is at 5 and then our school board does they did it for us after so let me just kind of show you what I have left to do um, and then I'm gonna try my best to just kind of get things into one spot so when I come in on Monday um, I can just focus in on just getting it all nice and neat for the parents still don't have my iPads and I don't need them right now I'd like to know how many I have though and then still don't have my student computer, but it's only Tuesday, so they could get it. Um, but yeah, I'm not hanging back over till Monday, guys. So um, I think what I'm gonna do is just get two piles ready. So, excuse me. Sorry, I'm gonna try not to. I do it, it's, I think it's a nervous habit. My sister told me about it, and now I'm very self-conscious of it. Um, but, I think I'll just make some piles because I don't have enough hands to get everything down in one spot. And now that um, the main people of the summer have left for the day, the door will automatically lock. And I'm not sure if I have my key to get back in. So I don't want to get locked out without the rest of my stuff. Um, so I'm really trying not to. Now I'm self-conscious. Thank you, sister. Um, but... I think what I'm going to do is just try to get one, like my yellow basket down, and then go from there. Um, and I'm too. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm going to work on it. Let me see here. So, I still need two more desks. That's a big plus that I need. And I'm going to try to get the student desks cleared off and get what they need on their desks. And so, I'm going to do that right now. All right, so I'm gonna speak up just a little bit. So I got the suit desks the way I need them. So I was kind of messing with um, how to set up my room. And I wanted to do like a U shape, but I don't think I'm gonna have enough room to do that and have carpet space in this pod. So and I'm just waiting on two more desks for this one. Um, so I went ahead and I laid out um, their student information packets, which go to the office. It's just got like the rule book and um, all the important paperwork to fill out. And then they also have their planners, which they look like this. And they're customized this year. Last year, they, this is probably the first year that I've noticed that they were customized. So it just has our logo and it has our name on there. I'm gonna flip in real quick. So you guys can kind of see what it looks like. So there's the front cover that we'll fill in. And then class schedule has it in there for July and then August. And then it just has um, just language, arts, science, social studies, and math. And then a space, a blank space for like science. And no, it's not science, like reading or writing or whatever you're doing. And a spot for the reading log I'm not gonna do reading log like that I don't think but um, first day of school I'll show you I've made up a um, just something on Google Slides where um, every day the kids will walk in and they'll have about five minutes to um, write in their planner so they're going to get out their planners, fill them in, and then turn it in to the turn-in box so I can go through and make sure that they have everything done for the day. Hi guys, I'm back in the classroom today. I think it's day 11, 
and it's gonna be a wrap-up day so as of right now I have um, some stuff I'm going to hang up I'm gonna show you what I have for the door and this is stuff that my mother-in-law just like found at a garage sale or like on one of those spot shop um, marketplace things and so let me just kind of show you it came in a huge set but I'm not gonna use it all so let me show you what I have okay so I have this hello which I'm gonna put on the on like the hallway side I think I'm gonna put hello and then I have a welcome one too but it is like longer just like that going that way so I think I'm gonna put that long way around the door then maybe I could put some like lemon decor around it and then on the side of the door that is um like where the classroom is i'm gonna put the words believe and achieve and i also have the um a lemon decor thing that's going to go on the door so that's what's going to happen there let me go ahead and show you guys what else I'm gonna be working on the rep the room. I told you I messed up on a student's theme on my um, student board, so I got that fixed. That'll be going in, and um, I'm also gonna be putting up some um, uh, voice control, what are these called, like noise control signs from the Ashley McKenzie, and this lighting is, oh, I think I need a tan or something. Um, or maybe get some sleep, that helped too. But let me show you what they look like. So they're, so they're called noise levels. I've never done this before, so it's gonna be interesting. So let me show you. So they look like this. You can get them in, the, in her store, TPT, Ashley McKenzie. So there's the title, and then it goes one. I gotta be careful here. I got that nameplate underneath there. So number one is silent. I have my, finally have my AR points done. And then five is outside voice. Sorry, they're out of order. Um, four, speaker voice. Three, normal voice. Two, whisper voice. And then the one is, and so she, these are the ones that she made, but there's also one that you can make yourself. Arrington, no. So if your school has like a different way of doing this, then you can go in and put in your own wording. Um, I tried, I really wanted to, I wanted to make them small enough and like turn the font so they could go in here. I only have four, but that would be like, that would have been ideal, but I couldn't get it that way. So that's just going to be what's going to be. And then I, like I said, I have my AR board that's going to go on there. I have my name tags for my students. And then I have my yellow lemon cards that I'm going to laminate and cut out and get in the little thing. So. That is my plan for today. Besides just picking up um, some stuff around the room and finding homes for just a little bit of things. Um, so I need to make sure before Monday that my kidney table is cleared off. That I have my center's tubs labeled. Um, that I get two more student desks because I only have six and I need eight. Um, my name tags need to go on there. Uh, my tablets need to be charged because I will be doing Class Dojo this year. And so I really want to make sure that it's done. Sorry guys, the tech guy came and it scared me. Um, so I will be using Class Dojo. And I mainly use it for parent communication. Just because it's easier to do um, than handing out my cell phone number. Which I don't really recommend. Um, there's been some stories on that. But... We won't get into that today, um, but I, use, I will be using it for the positive reinforcement also as well as parent communication. And they have like grown, within the fa last five years that I've used it, it has went from just a positive reinforcement to creating its own mindset series, um, to dealing with um, some Keegan strategies. Like you can get on there and do a think pair share now. I have no clue. They've got the, like a, um, voice control like a noise level thing on there where if it hooks up to your um, microphone like it does everything so dojo you're doing good 
if you don't use Class Dojo, um, if you use Seesaw, it's very much like that. Only I don't think it has the positive reinforcement. You can share things on there with your parents, photos, um, announcements, things like that. I know the new thing now is Class Tag. I thought about doing Class Tag, but I was like, I don't know. And if you use it, that's great. Let me know. I just heard that there was a lot of problems with like ads and stuff, and I think Dojo is just easier to use. And it's for this age group, I think it's pretty easy to do. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started laminating, and I will see you in a few. All right, so I have my noise levels all done. They're up. I have my AR points done, but they're not like centered. That's like my problem when I have nobody here to help me. Like it's like, I'll fix it. Um, and then I'm just working on my bins. So let me show you real quick how I'm done. Okay, so here is this corner. So the noise levels go from one to five. I may get that matte spray and spray those so they don't look so shiny. And then there's my AR points. And yeah, it just needs to be centered. Um, and then I have these bins, which I got from Target, but they're not like this. Like these have like a matte finish to them. And the ones I have for over here are like a shiny finish. And I, for the life of me, cannot get these like stickers off. Like they, it's like stuck on there, which could be my fault because um, I just let me back up before I turn you. There you go. I just like left them in my car, so I'm pretty sure the heat just got to them, and that's why they're stuck. But I'm using disinfectant wipes, and I'm using Mrs. Myers cleaning spray and a scrubby to get them off. So it should be looking good in a few. Hey guys, so as you can tell, I am at home. Um, we left early because little man wasn't feeling good. Um, so thank you all again for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Um, there will be a day 12 and hopefully then I can move on and do the open house and stuff. So, um, if you like what you saw today, go ahead and hit like and the red subscribe button so you don't miss out on any videos. Ring the bell if you'd like to see, get notified, um, whenever I have new videos uploaded. So until next time guys, bye.